Hello everyone, I'm GamerLouis95 here and uh, welcome to my uh, video where I'm going to be talking about the leaks or the data mines that have happened for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as of now. So like I said, this is a leak warning uh, data mine and spoilers for the some of the Pokemons and their stats. And I'm, I'm going to try to be discussing uh, these Pokemons and uh, how the potential uh, in uh, Smogon and the Smogon rule set and all you Ubers, whatever. Now, before I start, just my background. Uh, I have been I played the competitive Pokemon for a while, for a while and uh, for a good for a good amount of time. And I've, I have an idea on which Pokemon can be busted, which Pokemon can be bad, good. But now it all depends on the moves move sets as well with the move pool, and they haven't leaked that yet. But I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'll try to give my opinion based on what we have, we've currently have and the potential they have based on the move pool, move pool they have, but the potential they have based on the move pool they get. So, anyways, uh, first, well, I'm just gonna t tell you what I'm gonna be talking about. First of all, I'm gonna be talking about the starters, their stats and their abilities. Next, I'm gonna be talking about the paradox mons. There are uh, 16 paradox mons, or I should say 14 plus the two legendaries, Coridon and Maridon, which is the final, th which are the, which is the final topic. I'm going to be talking about the two legendary Pokemons. So, anyways, let's get started. I hope you enjoy, and uh, let's start. Okay, so first of all, this is the starters. Uh, we've got uh, so Spurgatito Sp line, uh, Fuekeoko, and the Quagsi line. So I'm just going to be talking about the last uh, evolution, or the, the third, uh, the the final evolution. Uh, so it's Meow Skarda, Skeletor, Dirge, and... Uh, Quackaval. Um So starting with Meow Skarda, you can see that she has a. To uh, they all have a total of five, a base total of five hundred thirty, and Meow Skarda actually has a really good uh, speed, one thirty twenty three, and uh, an attack of one hundred ten, and uh, uh, its hidden ability is Protein, which is actually kind of busted. Now I've heard that they're gonna nerf Protein in this uh, in this game. But uh, let's say that they didn't nerf it, uh, because I don't know how, how it's going to work right now, but I'm going to be talking about it based on Protein, how it worked in the previous games, like in, with Greninja and uh, with the Cinderace with Liberal, Liberal. So first of all, 123 speed is actually pretty good. We, we remember Greninja was busted, and uh, Greninja only had like 122 speed, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, its highest attack or special attack was 107, which is nothing compared to, which is less than 110. So I think Meow Skarda having the Grass and Dark type with Protein and a high, a higher spe special a spe speed than the Greninja and uh, 100 special at 100 uh, physical attack is not bad at all. I don't uh, like. I think overall it's gonna this one is gonna be pretty good. Maybe even busted and to, uh, gonna be sent to Ubers based on the move pools it has. I mean we've seen Greninja banned to Ubers because of Protein and we've seen uh, Cinderace banned to Ubers because of Libero. And that also has to do with the moveset. Uh, Zendrace had an insane uh, speed and attack, like 120 attack. And it had uh, Volt Tackle, uh, like uh, Electric Coverage, Fire, uh, Gunk Shot. So depending on what this Pokemon gets, it might even be banned to Ubers. So yeah, that's my first thought on Meow Skarda. Protein is a busting ability. And it's, like there's nothing, not, there's not much to say. We've, we've already seen... Uh, Greninja and uh, Tinderize get, get banned to Ubers because of their abilities, pro, their, their ability protein. So up next is Keller Dirge, and this is my favorite uh, starter uh, of the three. I just love the Fire Ghost type and uh, I love Crocodiles. But anyways, as for stats, um, you, it's actually more bulky than it is uh, offensive. It has 104 HP, 100 uh, defense, and 75 special defense. So it's more bulky on the physical side, and it has a decent special attack with 110, so not, not bad at all. Now, when you look at its ability or hidden ability, it's unaware, so you can tell this Pokemon can be really good uh, defensively. First of all, Fire Ghost is a really good defensive typing. I mean, yeah, you're weak to Dark and Ghost, which is really bad, and you're also weak to Fire, Ground, and Rock. Re pretty bad, but you you resist, uh, you're immune you're immune to fighting normal because of the Ghost, but then you're also, you also resist Poison, Bug, Grass, Steel, Ice, Fire, Fairy. So a lot of resistance, a lot of key resistance, resistances, and two immunities. Now you remember Alolan, Alolan Marowak, and when it was first introduced in Generation Seven, people used it as an anti-metamon because it resisted a lot of uh, uh, the most of uh, most common used Pokémons. It, re it resisted Fermosa, Buzzwall, uh, uh, and so on. 
So Fire Ghost is actually a pretty good anti metamon depending on the mons that are used. And I see Skull Dredge uh, ha having potential in OU. Because like I said, Ghost and Fire is a really good of defensive typing, or like uh, has a really niche uh, defensively. It's, it's a really good defense, defense, defensive, uh, defensive typing, I should say. And it's, that's the distribution is really good for a defensive mon. 104 HP and 100 uh, defense is really good overall. Pretty bulky. Um, and with unaware, you can you don't have, you can just uh, stay on on mons that are setting up on you. For example, the biggest thing I think I can think of is uh, Cliffable setting up cosmic powers and uh, combines. Skull Dread not only does it does it resist its fairy stab, but you can also just ignore its, all its all its boosts and just hit it hard, hit it back pretty hard with the uh, shadow ball, uh, fire blast, and so on. Now I really, really hope that Skeldredge learns a re recovery move. Like if it, if it can learn Moonlight, or uh, Wish, or it, or, if, or if it has a signature move that recovers its HP, that will be amazing. Because uh, unless uh, unless it has a good way to recover, I don't see it. I don't see it being OU for long. Because okay, fine, you're bulky, but you're gonna be, they're gonna wear you down bit by bit. It's not gonna be hard to wear down a Fire Ghost type. So I really, I, I really hope it learns a, a recovery move. I really hope so. Maybe pin, pin split would be the minimum, but I hope it has a better move pool, or a, a, has a better recovery. And the fire ghost is actually, or ghost in general, is a really um, versatile type that can learn a lot of coverage and a lot of uh, status moves like will of wisp, pin split, uh, disable, uh, per uh, song, uh, destiny bond, taunt. Uh, so and so on. Okay, finally, I'm gonna talk about Quagaval. Um, so as you can see, water fighting is a really good offensive typing, and it has a 120 attack with Moxie. So I can see this Pokemon being a really good sweeper uh, with the moves like close combat, liquidation. So uh, and the fact that uh, it has a, a great physical attack, a physical uh, stat with 120 and Moxie, it means that not much is gonna come and to take a hit. And with every kill, you're just gonna become stronger and stronger. So I think I see this Pokemon being a really good sweeper if you can give it choice scarf or if it can lear learn Tailwind, or you can uh, team, uh, put it in a team with a uh, sticky web or Tailwind. And 85 speed is not bad at all. Uh, it's not great, but it's not bad at all. It's not bad. So yeah, I think this. Uh, I think all three uh, starters have potential to be OU or really good in VGZ or singles. But and by the way, I'm trying to focus more on singles because that's my experience. I've been. Uh, I have an. Ex I have experience in singles, not in VGZ. So yeah. So up next, I'm gonna be talking about the paradox. Specifically, let's start with the past paradox mons. So we've got the great task, brute bonnet, uh, sandy shocks, scream tail, flutter mane, slither wing, and ro roaring roaring moon. So the Great Tusk, which is Dawn Fan, uh, is a ground fighting type, the first of its kind, and it has a really good bulk and a really good uh, physical attack. Uh, 115 HP with 131 defense is really good. So it, uh, it, this, can, this thing can be bulky, and with 131 attack, it can hit really hard, especially with the ground and fighting, like Earthquake 100 based at close combat 120 uh, based, uh, or like 120 base power. So this one can be like Buzzwall. You know how Buzzwall is just tank and just hits hard, and this can have a similar, or similar, similar role, but better typing because uh, ground fighting is better than bug fighting. That's my opinion. So I see, I can see a lot of potential this one uh, as a breaker. I guess I could say, uh, hitting hard and taking hits on the physical side. And we still don't know what Protosynthesis is, but hopefully it's a good, a good ability from what we, from what we've heard. Uh, I, I can't see it learning uh, like Stone Edge, uh, Bulk Up, maybe Sword Zance, uh, maybe Ice Shard because of because of Dan, uh, Dawn Fan. Um, so yeah, I, I, I see this Pokemon having a great potential on OU. Uh, a, a great bulky mod that can, can just break teams or like uh, hit, uh, hit hard and just uh, dent, uh, dent teams. So yeah, um, I see a great potential especially because of the ground fighting top first of its kind, uh, really good offensively. And not not too bad defensively at all. Uh, not great, but not bad. Up next we have Brute Bonnet, uh, Grass Dark. Now I'll be honest, I don't see much potential with this mon. It has great bulk, 111 HP and 99 uh, defense, and special defense. It can be good defensively, but the issue is Grass Dark is not a really good defensive typing with seven weaknesses, if not six or seven, and quad weak to 
bug, aka U turn, which I, so I don't see much poten potential on this mod. Uh, 127 attack is really good, but like I think you, you, you if you want to use a good grass dark type, you can just use uh, Zarud or uh, uh, the Meowskador or whatever his name is, uh, the grass starter in this gen. Now, I do think it has potential if it can learn like Spore, Synthesis, like if it has Among Us as a move pool. And if Protosynthesis is good, I can see potential with it, especially as, uh, because it's bulky. And it, it has some key resistances like Ghost, uh, Psychic, uh, Electric, Water. So yeah, it depends on the move pool, but um, I don't see much potential, especially since Zarud is, is I think, bulkier. And uh, offensively, uh, Zaru, uh, maybe Meowskadar is better, maybe. So yeah, I don't see much potential with uh, Brood Bonnet, honestly. It like I said, it depends on the spoon full at the end, but we'll see. Up next, we have Sandy Sharks, which is the Magnoite, or Magneton. Uh, Electric Ground is the second of its kind. The first one is uh, Stunfisk, um, Unovian Stunfisk. And its stats isn't that amazing. Um, it's kind of bulky. It has decent speed and uh, decent special attack. But honestly, I don't see much uh, use of this Pokemon, like... Uh, electric ground is actually a pretty good offensive typing but i really don't see it doing much honestly it all, it all depends on uh protosynthesis in my opinion even if its move pull is great i don't see much potential with this mod uh 101 speed isn't that amazing and 121 attack special attack isn't that amazing it's, both of them are great but like this one this mod isn't the bulkiest nor this is it nor is it the fastest or the most offensive so I, I feel like there are other, are other there are other there are other electric and ground mons you can use uh, instead of this mon. So unfor so unfortunately I don't see much potential this mon. Um, yeah, even uh, even defensively, uh, eighty five, ninety seven, and eighty five is it's decent, nothing amazing. But like I said, I think there are other mons that can do better uh, as an offensive or defensive type. Okay, up next is Scream Tail, and actually I'm really excited for this mod. Uh, Fairy Psychic is actually pretty good offensive and defensive typing. Um, on, only having three weaknesses. Uh, you, you, uh, it has a 115 special uh, SP, 99 special, uh, special uh, defense, and 115 special defense with 111 speed. So I, th I, see can, I can see this mod being a really good, fast, uh, bulky mod. Uh, especially, I th especially if it learns like Wish, uh, Heal Bell, um recover uh I, i'm pretty sure uh jigglypuff learned this learns these things and i know it's not jigglypuff per se but i can see it learning these moves like calm mind uh recover uh wish uh healing wish um uh, heal bell so i can see this mod being extremely bulky and just taking hits uh spamming heal bells uh protect recover um so yeah i see a lot of potential with the scream tail or the jigglypuff um, as a defensive mon, as, as special, especially, so I can I, I can see it being OU honestly. Uh, I think it has a, it has a lot of pot potential. Now up next is Fluttermane. I'm, re I'm I'm really excited for this mon because this mon is gonna be busted in my opinion. Uh, Ghost Fairy is a really good offensive typing. The only one we have is M Mimikyu, which has a really bad stat di distribution. Unlike this mon, this mon has 135 speed and 135. Uh, special attack and it has a great uh, defensive bulk special defensive bulk 135 but like think about it this one is fast and hits hard so spamming moon blasts go um, shadow ball with with specs or with a uh, short scarf is is like nothing you can easily sweep teams with this one and i see this one being banned honestly especially since ghost types learn a lot of uh, coverage like mystical fire Ghost and Fairy in general has, has great coverage. Um, Shadow Ball, the Moon Blast, Mystical Fire, Psychic, Dark Pulse, Energy Ball, Thunder Blast, or, or th Thunder Ball, sorry. Um, maybe Power Gem as well. So I, I see um, a nasty plot, Combine, Substitute, Taunt, Disable. So I see this one being very, very versatile and a huge threat. And I honestly think it's going to be banned to Ubers instantly, uh, almost instantly. Um, unless they butcher its move pool, I don't think this one is going to be an OU. It looks extremely threatening because uh, ghosts are really offensive, really hard, uh, really hits hard, and there's not much that can actually take ghost uh, ghost attacks except for dark and maybe nor and normal, which are, which isn't pre relevant in OU or prevalent in OU. So yeah, I, th I see this one being banned. Uh, next uh, up next we have Slither Slitherwing. 
uh, past uh, Volcarona, bug fighting. Um, I don't see much potential in this mod. Like okay, one thirty five is a great, uh, is a great stat, is, a, is good enough of a uh, offense uh, attack stat, and having a uh, eighty five HP and one hundred five special defense is pretty good. But I really don't see it doing much. Bug fighting isn't that the best offensively. And this one isn't that fast, so it's, I'm not. I don't see it being a sweeper. It might be a bulky mod that then uh, that hits hard. Like it can, it come, it has a good special defense, which means it might come and take some special special attacks and then hit hard with one, one thirty five attack. But honestly, I don't see it doing much, especially since I think Buzzwall is just a better mod overall. And I think Buzzwall is in the game. If not, maybe I'm not sure. But. I don't see. I, I do see it. I I do think it has potential in in OU, but nothing amazing. So yeah. Uh, so up next, finally, we have uh, Roaring Moon uh, Salamans. Uh, amazing coverage. Uh, Dark Dragon is a really good defensive ty offensive typing. Uh, the only thing you have to be worrying uh, worry about is the fairy. But if you have a coverage like Iron Tail or Sludge Bomb or uh, um, something like that, I, uh, you shouldn't worry about it at all. And when you look at uh, Salamans or like uh, Ro Roaring Moon. It has a really good bulk with 105 HP and 105, 101 special defense. But then you look at its speed, 119 is amazing, and then its attack for 139 is also amazing. Like this one is gonna be extremely strong in OU. It might even be banned to Ubers, but I don't think I don't see it happening because of uh, of fairy types just swallowing it. But yeah, I think this one is gonna be extremely busted. And like I said, it has a potential to be banned. And especially because of um, it depends on its coverage. Like I see it learning uh, earthquake, um, iron tail, dragon dance, um, steel wing, um, fire fang. Um, what else? I, I think I see it having a lot of great coverage. And uh, honestly, dra dra dragon dark is a really good offensive typing. So yeah, uh, this this mod is gonna be extremely fun to use. Extremely busted. <laughs> so up next, so let's move to the future mods. So first of all, we've got Iron Threads, which is the future of uh, future Dawn fan. Now I think this point, this one is worse than its uh, past form. First of all, Ground Seal isn't anything new. We ha we've got Exadrill and uh, Steelix and so on, and Agron. Or oh, sorry, actually Agron is Rock Steel. Sorry, but yeah, um, when you look at its stats, it's it's fast. It has a, a right uh, attack, and it's bulky on the physical side, uh, uh, and overall it's bulky. But I don't see much use of it. Um, uh, I just don't see much use of it. Uh, maybe people are gonna use it as a, offensively, but generally speaking, I think it's gonna be an all right mon, maybe OU, but I don't see much potential in it. Unless it has something amazing going on for it, I don't see much potential with it. Uh, Extra Drill is actually a pretty good example of it. Uh, it's a really good uh, offensive mon, Earthquake, uh, Iron Head, and so on. But uh, Extra Drill actually has 135 attack, not 100, not 112, and it is much slower. But even then, I don't. It's Extra Drill isn't that amazing in the current meta, so I don't see much uh, potential with the Iron Threads. Uh, I I think it's gonna be OU. Uh, I think it, it has potential to be OU, but nothing amazing. Oh, okay, so up next is Iron Moth. This Pokemon is gonna be busted. Fire Poison type is a really good offensive typing, and even a, a really good defensive typing. You only have to worry about uh, Heatran, I guess. That's the only one you have to worry about, <laughs> Heatran. But like you look at the stats, 110 uh, special attack, one, speed 140 special attack. This mod is gonna be extremely hard, extremely powerful. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to wall it if you don't have Heatran. I see this mod might uh, get like being extremely good uh, OU and OU, and maybe even banned depending on its move pool. Uh, like Quiver Dance, Fire Blast, um, Sludge Bomb, uh, maybe. So Psychic and so on. So we'll see. Um, so up next is, is Iron Hands, which is the Hariyama, future Hariyama. Um, so I see a lot of potential this one. It's the second of its type, uh, Fighting Electric, just after Palmy, uh, which is a new Pokemon in this generation. So I see a lot of potential in this one because of uh, how bulky it is and how hard it is. Uh, fighting electric is a really good offensive typing. Uh, it, it hits a lot of things for super effective, da for super effective damage, and not much can actually resist it. Um, the biggest threat is Landorus, but uh, I see a lot of coverage move with uh, Hariyama in general or Iron Hands, um, Ice Punch, uh, Fire Punch, um, Bulk Up, uh, Mag Punch, uh, Bullet Punch. Um, I think it is gonna have a lot of uh, great potential in OU. 
Um, especially because, first of all, it's really bulky, 154 HP with uh, 108 defense. It's not bad at all. And uh, having a great uh, physical attack on 40 means that it can sponge hits and then hit back really hard. Like, I, I see this more like being a late or a bulky sweeper, I guess you could say, or a, or a bulky uh, hard hitter, I guess I could say. Basically, you can come in, hit, take a hit, and then and that just spam close combat. Or uh, um, I'm not sure if it's gonna take, get a new, a great electric, a physical electric move or not. Oh yeah, that's a, that's one of the problems, or one of the problems with electric types. The, there's no good electric physical electric move, unless it's uh, plasma fist, which is just a signature move of uh, Zoraora, or Zorwark, sorry, or Zoraora, sorry, Zoraora. So yeah, unless it gets a really good physical move, physical electric type, it might not have a, have a great potential as, as I, I thought it might. But other than that, uh, fighting electric, uh, great bulk, great physical attack, I can see uh, it having a lot of potential on OU. Just just give it a good physical electric attack and that's and good coverage and that's it. But the biggest threat is uh, Landros, Gliscor and those mons, but with Ice Punch you can just uh, OCO them with 140 physical attack. Um, okay, so up next is Iron uh, Jugulus, which is Hydreigon, uh, Dark Flying. Um, Dark Flying is actually a pretty good typing. Um, my, the thing I like about it the most is how good defensively it is. I mean, we've seen he Vettel, uh, and uh, I guess you can say more, uh, Mandy Buzz as well. Both of them are really good defensively, and they're really bulky. And when you look, uh, and the problem, uh, and that's a problem, uh, this mod is, is not that bulky. Uh, 94 is, is, is HP and uh, 86 in uh, defense and 80 in special defense isn't the worst, but isn't, it isn't the best. And I don't think Dark Flying is the best uh, def offensive typing. And this mon unfortunately doesn't have the best offensive uh, spread. Like 108 uh, speed is decent, but nothing amazing. And 122 special attack is actually alright. It's, it's actually good. But uh, unfortunately, I don't see much potential with this mon unless uh, it... Uh, I'm not sure honestly, like uh, maybe Nasty Plot, uh, Hurricane, Dark Pulse, uh, Flamethrower. Uh, other than that, I don't see it being that amazing. Uh, even though, even if it gets Roost, for example, uh, its defenses won't help much. Uh, overall, I think it might be an, a UU Mon, but OU, I don't think it's gonna have that that potential. I wish this thing was were, were more, bulk, more bulky than it is offensive because uh, Dark Flying is a really good uh, defensive typing. Like if this thing had uh, 122 defense and 18 special defense, I can uh, a special defense. Yeah, I can see it being really good because like Roost, uh, Taunt, uh, U-turn, um, foul play, stuff like that. But uh, other than that, I don't see much potential in this one, unfortunately. Um, maybe I'm going to be proven wrong. Um, but we'll see. Uh, actually, uh, when you think about it, Galerian Moltres, Galerian Moltres is actually kind of good as a sweeper. Because it gets ag agility and a nasty plot, berserk. But uh, its coverage is really bad. So if this thing can get actually agility, nasty plot... Um, Dark Pulse, Hurricane, uh, Flamethrower, uh, Flash, uh, Flash Cannon, and uh, uh, like good coverage. I might see it being great in OU. Like, uh, think about it. If uh, Iron, if Iron Jugulus gets Nasty Plot, and uh, yeah, it should get Nasty Plot in general. But then you give it Nasty Plot, Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, uh, Agility. I see. I think it's gonna be. It's gonna be great. But uh, it, it all, honestly, it all depends on its coverage. But uh, its stats does, it doesn't really help with that much. But yeah, anyways, let's move on to Iron Thorns. Uh, so uh, the second of its typing, or, or future Tyranitar, Electric Rock, the second of its typing just after uh, Alolan, uh, Alolan Golem, if I'm not mistaken. Alolan Golem, yeah. So Electric, talk, uh, electric Rock is a really unique typing. I won't say it's the best typing. Um, you're still quad weak. You're still you still have a quad weakness, but this time to earthquake, not fighting. You have you have less uh, weaknesses, and I think more resistances as well. Uh, you resist electric, uh, electric. You quad, you quad resist uh, flying. You resist um, what else? Fire. Um, I'm not sure what else, honestly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, electric rock isn't that bad. Isn't that great? But it isn't it isn't that bad at all. 
and uh, we've seen Tyranitar with the worst typing. Dark Electric wasn't that good of a, uh, wasn't that good typing, but having a, a resistance to a Ghost and the Sandstream giving it a, a boost to special defense really helped it a lot. But and this one has less uh, base stat, 517 instead of 600, and uh, it's a sad distribution isn't that great honestly. 134 attack is actually pretty decent for a rock electric type. Uh, not uh, not amazing, but not bad. 100, uh, 100 HP, 100 defense, 84 special defense. It's kind of bulky, but uh, overall, I don't see much potential with this mod, honestly. Like, if you're gonna use a, a, a hard hitting electric electric type, just go with her, uh, Iron Fist or Iron Hands, sorry, uh, the future Har Haruyama. Um, other, uh, like, honestly, I don't see much potential. I think regular Tyranitar is gonna be better. But I, I do think it might have a niche in OU, but most likely it's just, it's just going to be a, a UU mod. It all depends on its uh, size at the end and uh, what Quirk Drive does. But uh, honestly, uh, uh, Rock Electric, not that exciting. I might be proven wrong. Uh, it's, it's sad this region isn't that unique. Um, <coughs> it's kind of bulky, but that's it. Uh, so up next we have Iron Bundle, which is uh, a, a Philip, uh, uh, Deli Bird, uh, and this one is actually pretty amazing. Ice Water is actually pretty good typing overall. I mean we've seen Lapras. Lapras is pretty good defensively. Um, what we like uh, Wall Rain as well. The issue with this mod, they haven't had the best uh, stat distribution, but this one has a really good stat distribution. One thirty six speed and one twenty four special, uh, special attack is amazing. Like. This thing, uh, uh, Specs Hydro Pump, Specs Blizzard, uh, Ice Beam. Uh, I, I see a lot of potential with this mod. Like, it has a really good uh, stats distribution and a really good offensive typing. I Ice Water being really good overall is amazing. I don't think it's going to be overs because it might not have the best coverage, but we'll see. And I think it's going to be a really good OU mod, not a, not a top tier threat, but. It has potential. Like we've seen, we've seen Revile. Revile has a 125 speed and 125 at 120 attack, and it's a really huge threat. But Revile is also a dark type, so uh, we'll see about that. And it's also physical, not special. So we'll see. Overall, I think Iron Bundle might have a really good shot being a really good mon in OU. But uh, yeah, uh, great stats, uh, great typing. Uh, let's let's just see what Quirk Drive does and what its uh, move pool is, the coverage it has. So yeah, overall I think it has a really good potential to be in being OU and being a great money in OU. Finally, we have the Iron Valiant, Valiant which is a Gardevoir a Gallade future, future uh, uh, inspiration, I guess I could say. So first of all, it's the first type of uh, it's the first of its typing, Fighting Fairy, a really good offensive typing. Uh, being super effective against dark dragon, uh, fighting, uh, steel, rock, uh, ice, uh, normal, and uh, dark, and oh yeah, and dark as well. So yeah, the fact that the fighting helps it cover its weakness to steel is amazing. So we have a way to hit steel types, and fairy helps it uh, to deal with. Uh, actually, it doesn't help it that much, but overall, it's a really good offensive typing, and the fact that it has a one hundred sixteen speed and then one twenty and one thirty. Special and special attack and physical attack respectively is amazing. I see a lot of potential with this mon being a mixed attacker. Um, you can you, th you can think about it having a great speed with close combat, uh, moon blast, play rough, um, psycho cut, uh, uh, zen headbutt, um, swords dance. I can see a lot of potential in this mon. This mon is gonna be crazy in OU, maybe even banned to Ubers, but I don't think that's gonna happen. But yeah, I think this one is going to be crazy, really, really good, especially because of the typing. So I'm really excited for these uh, future and past months. My, my money goes to uh, Iron Valiant, Iron Hands, Iron Moth, uh, uh, Roaring Moon, and uh, Flutter, uh, Flutter Mail and Scream Tail and, and being the best, even Great Tusk and being a, a really great mons, mons in OU, really great mons in OU. So yeah, Great Tusk, Scream Tail, Flutter Mail, Soaring Moon. Um, Iron Moth, Iron Hands, and uh, Iron Bundle and Iron Valiant are, are going to be amazing mods in my opinion. And we're going to see, depending on what Quirk Drive does and one, what Protosynthesis does. So finally, let's move on to the legendaries. Not much to say here. Um, 
Coridon has having 135 uh, speed and 135 attack, while Miraidon having 135 speed and 135 special attack. It's pretty amazing. We have to see what uh, their uh, ability does. Uh, Ori, Ori, Cal, Cam, Pulse, and uh, hard, Harden Engine. But yeah, the issue is we have a lot of electric, we have a lot of dragon types in OU, but I think these, these are the fastest, or the second fastest types in, uh, uh, the second fastest dragon types in OU, in, in Uber, sorry, just behind uh, Eternatus. But Eternatus is a, a more bulky than it is a, a sweeper or a offensive. So yeah, like uh, dra dragon fighting is a really good offensive typing. I'm just going to say it right now. It's a really, really good offensive typing. You just have to worry about fairies and that's it. So 135 speed and 135 attack is really is amazing, and if it can learn dragon dance, close combat, uh, outrage or uh, dragon rush or, or a signature dragon move, physical dragon move, it's gonna be amazing. And then it has coverage like Iron Tail, uh, Poison Jab, Earthquake, Stone Edge, uh, Crunch. I see a lot of potential with the uh, Coridon, a lot of potential. You just have to worry about um, Xerneas, and that's about it mostly. You can deal with the Uvetal uh, with Dragon Dance and Close Combat. You can deal with uh, Zygarde. Uh, I know it's, it's real bulky, but you can deal with it. You can deal with uh, Eternatus. You can deal with uh, Groudon. You don't have to worry about much about Groudon. You kind of have to, you kind of have to worry about uh, Zek, uh, Necrozma, Duskmane, but it's still dealable. It's still, it's still doable, I guess. Um, so yeah, I think Coridon is gonna be really good OU, especially because of its stats, like 135, thank god they did not butcher it, 135 at speed is really good. And then we have Miraidon, I think Miraidon is gonna be amazing in OU. Uh, being a, a really fast Electro-type is really important, especially with the Dragon coverage, because it helps you deal with the Veltal. Uh, uh, dragon uh, Electric helps you deal with the Zacian and uh, uh, Xerneas. You can deal with Kyogre, yeah, a Dragon type, uh, being a special uh, Dragon... Uh, Uberman can help you deal with Groudon. Like, I think Maraidon is going to be better than Coridon, but Coridon has more vers vers versatility, ver 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 can be more versatile because of its fighting typing, while Maraidon might, might have more usage because the Electric uh, helps it deal with uh, the Vertal and Dragon helps it deal with uh, Xerneas and, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Dragon helps it deal with, uh, I guess, uh, Groudon on Zygarde. So yeah, I think I see a lot of potential in these two mods. I think they're gonna be like a a plus mods in Ubers, a a plus tiers. While uh, the like I said, I think that when it comes to the paradox forms, I think Great Task is gonna be OU, Brute Bonnet is gonna be UU, Sandy Shock Sandy Shock is gonna be UU, or RU. <laughs> I don't see much potential in this mod. Uh, Skimtail is gonna be OU, Flutterman is gonna be OU, maybe Ubers then. Sl 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 Slitherwing, I see it being OU, maybe dash UU. I think it's going to be OU. I think it's going to have potential. Uh, Roaring Moon is going to be extremely busted in OU, maybe even banned to Ubers. Uh, Iron Thread is going to be UU or OU. I think it has, it's going to be low, uh, OU but low tier. Uh, Iron Moth is going to be OU high tier. Iron, Iron Hands is going to be a really great mod in OU. Uh, Iron Jugulus is going to have potential in OU. Uh, Iron Thorns, I think it's going to be UU, honestly. I don't see much potential in it. Iron Bundle and Iron Valiant are going to be OU, maybe even banned, uh, Iron, Val Iron Valiant might even be banned to Ubers. Finally, the starters, like I said, uh, Meow Skarada Meow Skarada has potential in being uh, OU, like high OU, even banned. Skeletor Dead might even be a really good o OU Mon, UU OU Mon, depending if it has a recovery, it can recover, it has a recovery move or not. And Quagavel, I think it's going to be o an OU Mon as well. Maybe it's like you, but mostly I see it being an OU Mon. So yeah, all of, all of all, I think all the mods are great. Some of the uh, paradox forms uh, are are a mess, but all, like none of them are actually bad. But they could have been better, I guess I could say. Uh, so yeah, overall, I think this is this is the end of my uh, video. I hope I, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna and I'm gonna be talking more about the leaks when they when there are more revealed like. Uh, we have a, we had a lot of leaks uh, revealed, a lot, a lot of mon revealed, but not their uh, ability nor their uh, stats. So once we know their ability stats uh, and typing, I'm, I'm going to be talking about them more. Thank you for watching.